In this video, I'll show you how to build a morphological query that finds exact Hebrew phrases, plus how to surface Greek grammatical constructions based on agreement. You can build advanced power searches quickly and easily to generate the right results. Take for example Exodus 3.19. Here we find the phrase that appears throughout the Bible, by a mighty hand. This phrase often describes the manner in which the Lord saved his people, but appears in different forms in various English translations. With the Logos Morph Query document, you can build and execute a precise search that will turn up the different variations of this key Hebrew phrase. Let's begin by opening a fresh morph search. Click the search icon and choose Morph from the options across the top of the panel. Next, select the Query drop-down and choose to create a new Morph Query document. Once we create this document and run the search, Logos will automatically save the search document so we can return to it again and again. In the New Query document, choose your search parameters. For this example, I'll choose to search all passages using the LHB. Now we're ready to build our search. Looking at the ESV, You'll notice that the phrase, by a strong hand, appears in Hebrew as bait, yad, followed by the adjective hazak. So let's input these terms in that exact order. In segment 1, jump down to the lemma field and input h, followed by a colon, and the preposition bait, and choose the term you want. In segment 2, repeat the process for the noun yad, and then make your selection. Then do the same thing for the adjective hazak. Finally, jump down to the proximity limiter and set this to search within three segments. Now we're set to search for these three terms in this exact order within three word segments. Press search and Logos will generate a list of results in a new window. Logos returns a total of 17 results, each one fitting our exact search and displaying every occurrence of this key phrase. This tool also works well when you're looking for agreement within a clause. Take for example James 1-2. Here the author writes, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Here in this famous verse, James uses the adjective poikilos to modify the noun perosmos without the use of an agreeing article. As I hover over these two terms, you'll notice that they agree in gender, number, and case. With the Logos Morph Query documents, we can find every time James uses the agreeing noun and adjective without the article. First, create a new morph search by clicking the magnifying glass at the top. Select the Query drop-down and choose to create a new morph query document. Next, let's define our search parameters. We want to search in the book of James using the SBL edition of the Greek New Testament. Now typically you'll find the construction article, noun, adjective, in which case all three terms agree in case, number, and gender. So let's input these terms into the search fields below. For word one, we want to select article from the part of speech field. For word two, we want to select noun from this same field. And for word three, we'll select the adjective from the part of speech field. Now, this is where things get interesting. Scroll down and select the link that says Add Relation and choose Agreement. With this option, Logos lets us find morphological agreements within a construction or clause. For this example, we want to find places where the adjective and noun agree in case, number, and gender. If we were to run this search as it is, with the right proximity operator, we would find instances where these agreeing forms appear in this exact order. But as we said before at the beginning of this example, we're most interested in places where James did not use the article. So to find these occurrences, simply deselect the exist indicator under the article for word one and choose to search for this construction within four words. At this point, we're not going to alter the word order, but you can use this feature to find different word orders of this construction. For now, let's run the search by clicking the button at the top of the panel. 
Like before, Logos generates the results of our search in a new window. Now we can browse and study every occurrence in James when a noun is followed by an adjective within a verse without the presence of an article before that noun. Get creative, discover powerful results, and then save your searches for later study.